it's Theodora here from Prevention One and welcome to this movie on how to use the Bob app inside the clinic. So in a few moments time, I have a new patient with me today who I will be using the Bob app with. So let's take a look on how we actually implement this into our daily practice. I like to use the Bob app on a tablet in clinic. Now, usually I would actually have the tablet in a cross infection control sleeve. And it is very important to mention that for all procedures, you too should be covering it with a sleeve. So before I call my new patient in, I'm just going to log into the Bob app. So on the tablet, I have the Bob app already saved to my home screen. And by clicking on the Bob app, it will take me to the page, which I'm then able to input my password and username. And then my password. And now log in. On the main screen, we actually have the logo of the clinic. And I also have my name at the top right here, which if I click onto, I have the options of settings. And in settings, I can actually change the dental numbering system, either to the FDI or the universal schema. By coming out and going back in, we have our profile, which we can edit at any time if our details change. We also have a little bit about the Prevention One brand and also our help and support. If for any reason there are any issues with the system, you can send a message here and send it directly to the support team. Now, here we can actually change the language. For whatever reason, if you have a patient with a particular language, you have the option to change it here. So now I'm going to be calling in my new patient to start the new Bob app experience. Hi, John, nice to meet you. Please come and take a seat. How are you today, John? I'm good, thank Great. you. Great, it's lovely to have you here in the clinic today. Yes. And we're going to be using a new app with you today called the Bob app, which stands for Bleeding on Interdental Brushing, okay? So we have gamified dentistry a little bit. Do you use apps at all at the moment at home? Yeah, okay, great. So this will be quite exciting for you. So before we begin, what I need to do is actually add you um, into the system. I'm going to click on the Add New Client button. And here I'm able to place John as a new patient in the Bob system. So first of all, I would click in his first name, his last name, his date of birth, and his gender. Now there is consent that John has to give me before we actually continue with the Bob app. So I'm going to actually pass the tablet to John. And John, please may you have a little read of the get data guidelines and authorization. And if John agrees, he is then able to click the agree button. So now I will start a new Bob score for John. By doing this, I click the play button in the top left hand corner. I am then presented with the let's go button. And the first page is the first section in which we will place the missing teeth, crowns and any implants for John. So to begin, I'm going to have a look to see if John has any missing teeth, crowns or implants. And the section we will be starting on is the top right. You will notice on the Bob app that in the top right hand corner, there is a mouth full of sextants, six sextants, which indicate which sextant we will be working on. So at the moment we are on the green area. So this actually indicates that we're working in that sextant. Any areas that show red means that they are the sextants we need to then move on to. So let's have a little look, John, to see if you have any missing teeth, crowns or implants. Okay. So now I'm clicking the missing teeth and you'll notice that these teeth go to a very faint grey colour. Moving on, we can actually click or swipe to the next sextant. And again, you will notice in the top right hand corner what sextant you will be working on. 
It will also indicate a dark grey, which will indicate that's the sextant you are working on. Let's have another look there, Herr John. Now, John doesn't have any implants or crowns. However, if we want to place an implant or crown, by clicking on the tooth area, you will notice that the implant will go a blue colour and a crown will turn yellow. To remove anything, you would just re-click on those buttons to remove the input that you just placed. Let's have another look here, John. So once we have completed all six sextants, you will notice on the top right hand side that the six sextants are all green in colour. This indicates that you have completed the full charting for the patient. Now by clicking on those six sextants, you then have a full image of the patient's mouth. We then have the opportunity to click the button in the bottom left hand corner, which then actually rotates that image for the patient. We are then able to give the tablet to the patient. And by doing so, the patient now has a mirror image of their own mouth. So you can actually point out if they have missing teeth, crowns and implants. And this helps the patient engage with their own mouth and become more dentally aware of what is actually in their mouth. So these areas really act as landmarks. And that's why we're not completing a full dental charting. We leave that for our other systems. This is simply for the patient in mind, so they can really actually see and indicate what is in their mouth, and this makes their oral hygiene instructions a lot easier for them at home. By clicking the X, we can come out of that area. Now, by moving on, we can actually click the bottom right-hand corner, which is the bob score in the interdental brushes. Here, we are now able to start the bleeding on interdental brushing index. So as John is a new patient with me today, I will be using the IAP probe. This little probe will indicate to me what sizes John may need to use. So before inputting any brushes, I'm just gonna have a little look to see perhaps what size John is. see on the Bob app we have a range of colours. Now this is the Prime range from the Curaprox brand and we also have the Perio range. By clicking on the Perio button we actually have the options of the larger interdental brushes. By clicking on Prime once again we are back to the Prime interdental brushes. You may notice we also have the button Others which will indicate either floss or some other dental aid than that of using an interdental brush. So now I will actually place the interdental brushes in John's interproximal spaces to find out where there is bleeding and also at the same time instruct John on how to use the interdental brushes. So since using the IAP probe with John, I now know that I need to use two colours from the Prime range. So as you will notice on the Bob app, it automatically starts on the top right hand side. So if we have a look in the top right hand corner of the app, again, we have the six sextants. At the moment, they are in red as we haven't completed any interdental brushing. But as soon as we complete a sextant and move on to the next sextant, that area will turn green. I will start with the turquoise brush for John. I will now input this information into the bob chart by clicking on the turquoise brush button. The information is saved into the top right sextant and now I will have a look to see if there's any bleeding present. John has a little bit of bleeding in that sextant so I'm now going to place bleeding in that particular area by clicking the bleeding present button. Now I will continue to the next sextant and I can do this by swiping or clicking the arrow. I 
will again place the turquoise by clicking on the turquoise button. And again, refer back to John to see if there is any bleeding interproximally. By clicking on the particular brush area, I can also input the bleeding. I will now click to the next sextant, which is that of the upper left sextant. Clicking again the brushes that I need to use. Referring back to see if there is bleeding present. Clicking on that area and inputting the bleeding. You will notice that in the top right, the area with the six sextants, we have now completed the upper arch and this shows in green. The lower arch is showing red, which means we need to complete the lower sextants. I will now click to the lower left sextant and begin the interdental brushing and bleeding index. I know that John is a pink in the lower left sextant. I can input this brush color with one click and I do that by holding the pink button down and you will notice that all the interproximal sections have automatically added the pink interdental brush. By taking a look, I know where John is bleeding and therefore can actually go back and input the bleeding into those areas. We will now move on to the next sextant, again by swiping or clicking. John will need to use the turquoise prime brush on the lower anterior sextant. So again, by inputting the turquoise, we would then click the button turquoise and hold it down to input that information. And it automatically will infill all interproximal regions with the turquoise prime brush. By referring back, we can see if there is any bleeding that we now need to input into the chart by clicking the area that has bleeding. Moving on to the last sextant, I know that John needs to use the pink prime brush in the lower right sextant. By inputting the pink brush, again, I can automatically click each area or hold the button down, which in that case will infill all the areas with pink. I now refer back to John to see if there is any bleeding. As John has bleeding in all areas, I will be clicking onto each interproximal area to add the bleeding. So now we have completed our incidental brushing mouth chart with the bleeding index. So now it's time to complete this by passing over the tablet to John and he will complete his overall Bob score. And by doing so, John therefore takes ownership of his own health. So John, can you click the finish button for me please? So today, John Hat is 54% inflamed. 14 of your 26 interdental spaces have shown signs of inflammation. If you could just click the arrow down here for me, please, John. As John is a new patient today, we can only view the today's results. But in the future, by doing more Bob scores with John, I will be able to view his past results as well. 
Can you please click the little button, brush button here, please, John? With John, I will now discuss with him the colour of the interdental brushes we need to use. And at the same time, I may break out and actually do a coaching session where I show John how to use those brushes effectively, efficiently and atraumatically. John also is able to view the bleeding areas. So I can also explain to John why he has inflammation in these areas and again, how we can eliminate this for him. So you have bleeding here, John on your top teeth and we have the colours turquoise, we've had pink, pink, so pink here and pink here, okay? Can you click the bottom button here for me? We also have the online shop page, so for any clinicians who wish to purchase brushes through the online shop, it will direct you directly to the Curaprox Interdental Brush Shop. The overall part of the Bob score is that of the PDF, which we can send to the patient. We can email and print it off for the patient to take home. For behavior change and motivation, this is the most important part of Bob, as the patient can take their information home. They can monitor themselves, and we too can monitor them on their future visits. By clicking the Generate Personal PDF, the PDF of John's score will now be downloaded along with John's interdental brush mouth map and also the bleeding index. If you can click download and print. We have an option of the email button or the download and print button. By clicking the download and print button, we are able to view the PDF with the patient at that visit and also print it off for them to take home. With the Bob Score PDF, John can now view his results from today and also the previous visit. He is also able to view what colour interdental brush to use where and also where he has inflammation. So today I've used the Bob app with my new patient, John. The Bob app created a Bob score for John to take home and use. Now this Bob score shows John exactly what colour interdental brushes to use where, but it will also show John where he is bleeding so he too can monitor himself at home. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on how to use the Bob app today. If you are interested in how to use the Bob app with your patients in practice, then please visit prevention1.com.